Okay guys, just a quick one, watch this. Okay. Now guys, I just jumped on the green here straight away. Don't know what the break is or anything there. But guys, that is the result of the secret I'm going to give you to the great George Lowe's putting technique. Now there's been a lot written about George Lowe's technique, but it was half the story. George didn't tell everybody because George played money matches against everybody and he never lost one. George beat George beat Bobby Locke, he beat everybody. He beat Hogan, he beat everybody. Um, he was the putting wizard, commonly regarded in the pros as the world's greatest putter. Now, he said that what he did, he told people half the story, and he never wanted to tell them the whole story. But he actually told a person I know, Australia's great player, Norman Von Neider, who was over there in the 50s, was a friend of Hogan's, knew George Lowe. And George Lowe told Norman because he wasn't going to be in America. He was never going to be there and tell anybody. And he said, Norman, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm not going to tell anybody else. And what George's story was, George said, if you use the most um, sensitive and dexterous components of your anatomy in a putting stroke, you'll have the best chance of... getting the result that you want in terms of control. And what George said was, the two most um, important um, digits that we have in the hands and relative to putting for feel are the forefinger and the thumb. Guys, if we reach into our pocket to pull out a coin, what do we pull it out with? We pull it out with the thumb and the forefinger, don't we? If we put something in a in a, uh, in a vending machine, we put it in there. We pick something up, fuck, we pick it up with that. You know why? Because they're the ultimate receptors. And George used that when he putted. Now what he said was that he put his thumbs on top of the shaft and they were his feelers. But he told Norman, and I should have remembered this, he told me this 30 years ago. But he told Norman that what he actually did was that he used those two receptors the index finger, the point of the index finger, and the point of the thumb. And what he did was, guys, he put them on the club like this. He put that there and there, and he, and, he, and he pinched them in like that. They were there like that. He pinched them in like that, and the other fingers just softly just sat on the thing. But he took it back and forwards with those two, those two receptors. That's what he did. He took it back and forwards with those. <laughs> the coin was his putter grip. That's what he was doing. The coin was the putter grip. That was the secret of the great George Lowe Wizard's grip. He never told anybody. He never wanted to tell people because he wanted to beat them. <laughs> he wanted to tell them. And then there, there were great stories. I mean, he beat Bobby Locke. He beat Bobby Locke in a big money match. And Bobby Locke was the best part of the world ever saw, saw at that time. And he beat Bobby Locke. He beat everybody. He could beat most pros just by kicking the ball with his foot. Okay, now the other thing that he did, when he had, and both fingers, guys, you get both the index, the, the, the forefinger and the thumb, and you put them on like that. You grab the, the putter grip like that. Both, both hands here, just like that. And then he said, you just use that wrist hinge. Just use it like that. Just use that, because that's, that, that's the best way to utilize the feel in the hands. Just do that. Now the other thing, guys, what he did and what, what the great putters did, what Bobby Locke did and what Ben Crenshaw did and, and, and the great putters, he took the putter inside. He took it inside like that. Took it inside here, like that. Kept, kept the fulcrum here, just took it inside here and just fired it like that. And guys, when you do it like that, the putter just moves perfectly. It just goes from inside the square towards the target. That's the advantage of it. It's just that action there. And you can't do that. You'll get too much wrist movement and too much wrist roll if you hold it primarily or predominantly in the fingers. You'll just get too much wrist roll. You get th those, bo those bones that will rotate. But just getting the, just getting the, the, the hand to move backwards and forwards on, on the wrist hinge with those two pincers there, 
you get a pure action. Now the other, the good thing is guys, this works great with channel lock. Channel lock putting is, is back here, is trail foot, closed shoulders. And we, and we take the putter, we take the putter inside and we hit out. And so that we know that the ball is always going to start in a direction. And you just have to work out your aim, but you will basically start the ball into out all the time. So you will eliminate the miss that you get in putting on the left side of the hole with channel lock, which I've said before. There's no misses on the left side of the hole if you're a right-handed person. You'll always push the ball to the hole. And what we do is we aim a little bit left and we just push it. We just get inside to out and we just do that. And guys, that is the action. You get those two pins of fingers here, get over it, get the shoulders closed, and we just take it into out. That's the action. Now look at that putter. Look, look how square that putter is. Look. See that? That's the whole idea of it, guys. It, it, it's basically just doing this but from inside out. And I promise you, I didn't realise how much that the arms want to rotate, how that, 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 that radius and ulnar bones want to turn the forearms and the hands. I never realised how much that happens in putting until I got the putter grip held in that finger there. Just turn the, uh, just hang on, don't touch it, don't touch it. Guys, I want to show you. See this here, look. I can't see that. See that finger there? See that index finger? It goes on like that and the thumb goes on like that. It's a pincer effect. And the same with the trail, trail hand. Look, trail hand's in exactly the same place. And, and we just let these fingers get on there lightly, but the pressure's in those, in those pincer fingers, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the forefinger and the thumb. And that's where we actually feel that pressure going into the grip. Here, that's what we feel. I actually push it in. And then, and then you can just get you can just get the putter hinging. The putter will just hinge all the time. You, you look at the, the hinge look about this. When I get it hinged, and I've got my shoulders closed, but look at the hinge. I get it here, get that shoulder up, here, and, I, and I just hinge. Look at that, here. I'm not doing that, I'm not pushing. I'm taking it inside, and I'm just collecting the ball on the way through and of course the other thing that George said which I'm working on is he said you hit down on the putter you'd hit down on the golf ball you actually hit down on it now when I do that and I've only done it a couple of times and I completely forgot it and the greens filling up here guys so we've got to go it's very hard to get um, the green free but yeah and, and I'll probably do a more in-depth one over the weekend if I can get to get down here early in the morning there's no one here and I'll show you the the actual hitting down. <clears throat> How do we hit down? You just hit down. You just hit down. You feel like the putter head is very low to the ground after you've hit the putt. You can hear get pincer. That putter actually felt like it hit the ground just after I'd I'd, I'd gone through the golf ball. So, so that, that's, that's the real secret of George Lowe's putting. He, he told people about the thumbs on the top, <laughs> but that wasn't the truth. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. And he actually showed Norman, and Norman showed me. Um, he said he actually pinched it, pinched it. He said he got there and he pinched it with those two fingers. He said, and that was his pressure points here. Anyway, guys, that, that's rough and ready today, but, but, uh, but just try it. And I'll do something a little bit more in depth. But that is the true secret of the George Lowe putting grip that not a lot of people know. But uh, Norman Von Neider was over there and he spent some time with Hogan um, and got on well with Hogan, but he knew all those guys. And he said George Lowe just used to skin everybody for money, big money. Back in those days, I think he played a guy from Orlando for $30,000 and George used his foot. Back in the 50s, $30,000, like a million dollars today. And George used his foot and beat him. Okay, guys, that's, uh, that's the secrets of George Lowe. Was now, Billy, Billy Phillips, this is for you, primarily, my friend. You, it doesn't matter what putter. I mean, I'll bring out a dozen different putters. It doesn't matter. And when I get the green free, I'll hit, hit putts with, with all types of putters. It doesn't matter about the putter. It's not this. Not the putter. It's the putt all. You can, you can do it. 
doesn't matter. This is an inanimate object, guys. It doesn't have a mind of its own. It can't do anything by itself. It can only do what we make it do. Okay, guys, I'll do something more in-depth on the weekend.